In my last video, I detailed how you can accurately measure your Wi-Fi signal strength in different areas of your home. This process got me thinking. It got me wondering how much your Wi-Fi signal strength actually impacts your internet speed. So what did I do? I put together a little experiment that I ran in my home to see just how much your Wi-Fi signal strength impacts your internet performance and internet speed. In this episode from Network From Home, I'll detail that experiment for you, what I tested, what my findings were, but most importantly, I'll talk to you about my takeaways from this experiment. There are two main things I wanted to test in this experiment. The first was Wi-Fi signal strength and corresponding internet speed over distance with limited obstruction, but also Wi-Fi signal strength and corresponding internet speed when you include obstructions and there are things in between your device and your router. I also performed this experiment with both 2G and 5G frequency internet bands to see if there was a difference in performance and Wi-Fi signal between 2G and 5G. To start my experiment, the first thing I did, I stood right next to my router, I measured the Wi-Fi signal strength, I also took speed tests for 2G and 5G. Next, I stood 10 feet away from my router with no obstructions between my device and my router. I took the same measurements. Then I stepped 20 feet away from my router, line of sight to my router, no obstructions in the way, took the same measurements. And then lastly, 30 feet away from my router on the same level, direct line of sight, no obstructions to see what results I got. I then went and I went one floor down, one floor below my router to see what the Wi-Fi signal strength was and performance was on 2G and 5G speeds. I then went two floors down, took the same measurements, and lastly, I went into my basement. Of course, in these scenarios, we're including obstructions in our measurements. Every time you go down a floor, your Wi-Fi signal has to travel through that. There are pipes electrical wires, there's wood, there's tile, all of these things I wanted to measure how much that impacted your Wi-Fi signal and corresponding internet speed. I have a disclaimer here before I get to the results. The findings and the results of my experiment in my home will be different than yours. If you go and perform the same experiment in your home, you will likely have slightly different results. But the bottom line is the takeaways from my experiment those will be applicable across the board and they'll be useful for anybody. All right, first let's take a look at the results of my 2G network from my router. A few important things to note here, this Wi-Fi signal strength number, the scale of Wi-Fi signal strength is from minus 30 to minus 90. Minus 30 being the strongest Wi-Fi signal you can have, minus 90 being the weakest Wi-Fi signal you can have. Another thing to note here, this last column, this just refers to the little Wi-Fi signal in the bottom right-hand corner of your laptop. If you have a Windows machine, you'll have a Wi-Fi icon there. The number of bars that are lit up in that icon is meant to indicate the strength of your Wi-Fi signal. So I wanted to evaluate that as well to see if it gave us any useful information. So the main thing I wanna point out here when it comes to your 2G network Let's take a look at this. Despite this changing and weakening Wi-Fi signal as I move further away from my router, as I move floors down, despite that weakening Wi-Fi signal, the Wi-Fi speed is pretty consistent. It's around 40 to 45 megabits per second, regardless of the Wi-Fi signal. One other thing I wanted to point out is just the Wi-Fi icon in the lower right-hand corner of my laptop. It has pretty much full bars to indicate a strong Wi-Fi signal up until we get to this last situation where I'm in the basement of my home. The Wi-Fi signal has to travel through three different floors. As you can see, I have a minus 74 rating for my Wi-Fi signal. This is a very weak signal. And as a result, my Wi-Fi speed was impacted. So basically what it looks like is my 2G Wi-Fi speeds are pretty consistent up until a certain point and then performance drops off a cliff. 1.35 megabits download speed 
compared to 40 megabits download speed, 45 in most cases, that's a big difference and you can't really get much done on the internet with 1.35 megabits of download speed. The last thing to look at is the upload speed for my 2G Wi-Fi connection. It's pretty consistent at 24 megabits per second, regardless of the Wi-Fi signal, up until a certain point and then it drops off the cliff. Same thing as the download speed. Next, let's take a look at the 5G results. The first thing you notice when looking at the 5G results is that with the weakening Wi-Fi signal here, as I go down, as I move further away from my router and down floors, this has a larger impact on the Wi-Fi speed at 5G. With that said, even with a weakening signal, even here two floors down beneath my router, you get a lower Wi-Fi signal strength score of minus 68, but you still have pretty good bandwidth here at 135 megabits per second of download speed. Similar to 2G, however, when you reach a certain point, performance drops off a cliff. As you can see in the basement, with the signal traveling three floors down, I have 15 megabits per second of download speed and eight megabits per second of upload speed. This is a significant difference compared to the rest of the scenarios above here where I'm still getting adequate download and upload speed. Much like 2G, 5G, you get the same upload speed in pretty much all scenarios up to a certain point, and then you get significantly degraded performance. When looking at the Wi-Fi bars of the 5G network, it pretty much tells you when you've fallen off a cliff, there were no bars here in the basement, and as a result, I got poor performance. Everywhere else, despite the varying internet speed, it was still showing as full bars of Wi-Fi signal strength. These results are pretty consistent with my understanding of 5G. 5G networks provide faster speeds, but the 5G signal, the 5G frequency, doesn't travel through devices and objects as well. That's why, as we go down floors and move further away from the router, you start to see a degradation of that Wi-Fi speed. Okay, now that we've looked at 2G and 5G, let's look at them both together. In comparing the results with the 2G network versus the 5G network, honestly, it confirmed a lot of things that we already know about these two different Wi-Fi networks. The 2G Wi-Fi speeds are much more consistent than the 5G speeds. That's because the 2G signals travel much better through objects and obstruction. But the one thing that stands out to me here is that even with almost the lowest possible Wi-Fi signal strength score, the 5G network still provided faster speeds than the 2G network. This is surprising to me because the 2G network, that signal travels through objects better and it has a stronger Wi-Fi signal strength as a result here in the basement. However, it was still slower. I would have anticipated it would have been faster than the 5G network because the 5G network had just about the lowest Wi-Fi score that you can have. At this point in my experiment, I wanted to see if there was a clean relationship between Wi-Fi signal strength and internet speed. So what did I do? I went ahead and I put two charts together. Honestly, these two charts don't really tell me anything new compared to the results in my previous tables. What it basically shows me is that your internet speed will be sufficient and perform well up to a certain point but then when your Wi-Fi internet signal strength gets to a certain level, your performance is gonna fall off a cliff. Okay, so what are the takeaways you can implement in your home network? The first is that even if you're further away from your router and there are some obstructions between your device and your router, your 5G network should be used for higher bandwidth tasks. Honestly, this was a surprising find to me even in my basement when there was a lot of obstruction and I had a really poor Wi-Fi signal strength, my 5G network still got faster Wi-Fi speeds than my 2G network. This goes against my previous understanding. I was anticipating that the 2G network would be faster than the 5G network when they both have poor Wi-Fi signal strength. The other takeaway here is that your 2G network, you should use that for your lower bandwidth intensive tasks you get pretty consistent speeds regardless of obstruction and interference if you're on that 2G network. So anything that doesn't require a lot of bandwidth, such as searching the internet 
or if you have a wireless device or an Internet of Things device, the 2G network is fine for those. And lastly, if you're wondering if you have a strong enough Wi-Fi signal, the bottom line is try it out and you'll know soon enough. As we've seen from this experiment, your performance will greatly degrade when the Wi-Fi signal strength isn't strong enough. So I advise you just test it out. And if you have really poor performance, either switch to a different network, move to a closer router, provide your device with an ethernet connection to your router. These are other alternatives here. If the results of my experiments were useful to you, please give the video a like. That way the experimental findings that I had will get shared with other people and they will hopefully be able to benefit from the takeaways as well. If you like the way that I present this information on my channel and the topics that I talk about, please subscribe. And obviously, if you have any questions, please drop a comment below. As always, thanks for watching this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.